Hi everybody, it's Janet and you're here at Fruit of the Vine Art Studio in Cincinnati, Ohio. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm getting a little bit of my painter's tape out here to tape this down so we can get started. Today I'm going to do a little watercolor pencil with you. There's a whole bunch of sparkles still on this thing from where I used sparkles on those cards last week and it's just everywhere at this point. It's getting wild in here with the glitter. I used that on some cards and now it's all over the place. I should have taken my sheet up and gave it a good shaking I suppose. Got some of that off of there. Give me just a moment here and I'm going to tilt you down and zoom you in, and we're going to get started. Now, once again, I am going to be using my Arteza Artist Quality Watercolor Pencils. I got these a few years back. They are the same pencils that I use on my pet portraits. All right, just about ready here, guys. I've got a couple more pet portraits coming up, so keep your eyes on the page and you will see them. I've got an adorable little chihuahua that I'm going to be doing. And I've also got a pretty German Shepherd that I'll be doing later on after that. So let me tilt you down, zoom you in to where you can see what we've got going on here. There we go. I think you might be able to see most of it from there. Let me bring you up just a little bit in case you're one of the folks that watches on your phone without actually touching and seeing the full view. A lot of people do do that, I know. Now here's my pencils. And let's see, I'm going to be needing, and I'm going to be using my uh, little Cornell brushes, my little fine, fine brushes. get them out. Start off with what I'm going to do is I'm going to first color this. That's generally how I always do these things. I just color them first and I'm going to use a charcoal on the shoe sole right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right along here. Now, as you can see, we've got drawn here is a pair of daddy's shoes with a little girl's feet standing on top of them. Now, where is my black? Because I want it to be darker right here because this is the under part of his shoe. And I'm going to make his shoes a dark chocolate. And let's see, this would be a little bit lighter up here. So let me get a sienna brown. And we'll just kind of lighten the top of the shoe right here. Not too much though, this will be darker in this area. <clears throat> where her foot is on the top of it. Does this evoke any memories for you from as being a, from a child? It does for me. I can remember my father picking me up and putting me on his feet and dancing me around. And just a little bit of the light right here at the heel of his shoe. And this will be darker right in here. So just fill this in in this. I'm going to 
is darker right in here, so I'm going to get some espresso. And darken it right around the top. Right down in here a little bit. <clears throat> and right under where her foot is. And then that would be darker right here. There. It's going to be lighter on the toe of this shoe. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to take a drink of my water. Now this shouldn't really take us too awfully long, this drawing itself. This should be done pretty fairly pretty quickly. Got a little more brown in here. That looks a little scarce. Okay. And then we're going to give Dad some blue pants. We're going to get some indigo here. couple of wrinkles in the pant leg there. Where this leg is more straight. Yep, I should have turned that off. I don't think I can do that while I'm live. I'm afraid that'll mess something up. I literally got a notification that it was being that my videos were 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 being muted in some areas because of that particular sound which i thought was hilarious this comes right up to her little leg here Just using this indigo blue to fill in this whole pant leg area. And I'm going to get some more darker blue in just a moment here. Come over to this pant leg. This leg isn't quite as wrinkled as it is stretched out. does have a little area right here where there's going to be some darker shading. And of course up here will be a little bit darker too, but we'll get to that with another shade of blue. Okay. Right in here and here. A little bit on the leg here, here, and a little there. Right in that area. Oh, let me see. It's going to be a little darker up in here. <clears throat> right there, along the bottom. Along the bottom of this one.
pretty much like that, I think. That that would probably <clears throat> get about as much of the deep, deep blue that I need. Well, I don't know, this back of his pant leg is going to be a little bit darker too, isn't it? About like that. I think that'll be fine. Once we get going with it, I think that'll be fine. I leave all my pencils out that I'm using over here because there's so many similar colors. If I start putting everything back in there, next thing you know, I'm going <laughs> to not be able to find the pencil that I actually used. So, let's see. We'll give him a, a lighter blue sock here. And just put a little bit of a darker blue in there. What are you? That's sage green. Don't put that in there. Get you in blue. That'll work. We'll put that right in here. Right along the back. Top of the sock. I mean, top of the shoe area. Just sort of leaving that lighter blue in a certain greenish area right there on that. <clears throat> okay, and then we are going to give her a pretty little red skirt. So let me get to the reds. There's three layers of pencils in that box. That's another thing I really like about these pencils. So many colors, 72 different, 72 different colors. So let us see, what do we have here? This is a magenta, passion fruit, carmine, rose red. Okay, we're gonna go with this. We're gonna make this rose red. Lighter at the top here. Make it darker. bottom part so it kind of gives it the appearance of her having pleats in her dress bottom here where it goes in front of the pants. I don't know if I should have put the lines for the walls and stuff in there or not. Maybe not, but we'll see. We'll just do it the way I've got it drawn. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so now we need to get some peach. Give me a little marmalade here. Okay, 
apricot looks darker. Pink macaroon. how this pink macaroon looks here. And then let's try the peaches from this side. I'm going to take marmalade. Go over this as well. Comes back this way. Bottom of her foot. Use this pink macaroon. Blend it in here too. We're gonna get our peaches. Top of her feet. Didn't use you, so I need to put you back, apricot. I keep you out here messing up stuff. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> then we're going to give them a Bit of a gray background. I'm looking for the lightest gray. Here it is. And we're just gonna bring it right along there. And along this wall. And then I'm going to use this darker gray here, this pewter. To get behind them. don't want to outline it, but I want it to come all the way up to the pant legs, and I want it to be a little darker. Maybe right in here. Let's 
to be darker underneath her dress. Going right along the tops of her legs. in here just a little bit of the division of the wall here so that you see that's going that way We'll see it once we get everything colored in. Once everything's ready and rolling here, it'll be it'll be noticeable there. We're just gonna draw this a little darker right along through here. Shading on the wall. some dark underneath where his feet are going to be. Not too much in that spot. And then let's see. I guess we could make the, the floor a brown. Not the same color as the shoes. We'll make it this. What do we got here? Well, maybe yellow ochre would be best. We'll do this. And then we can deepen that up underneath where the shading will be. And right here, just a little bit above it, where you can see where that goes back to the wall. And then let me get burnt ochre. And we'll shade that right here with this. You can see just a little bit of dad shadow going this way. About like that. I think that'll probably do. Let's make this a little darker back here. Right behind dad. Down around this way a little bit. Bring that like that. Okay, let's get ready to start adding some water to it. Let's do detail. It's time for fun. I'm going to use this little brush right here. Don't know what number it is. Zero. I'm just going to dip it in the water. I need me a nice towel here. Touch just a drop of the water off because I don't want it to be too wet. I need a little more. And start working on her leg right here. Starting with the light, working to the dark. That's how you work with these watercolors. And if it looks like it's taken off too much of your color for you, you can always add some more to it. But we're going to wait and see because she needs to have light on the top of her feet. Let's 
move that down just a little bit better and then we'll go and work on this other leg right in here that's what i love about these pencils you can't really tell it yet but once you start adding the water and it starts activating the color and next thing it just turns into a beautiful painting Moving on, we're going to the darker part of her legs. Send the shade. Down at the bottom of her little feet. On her little ankle. dark bottom of her foot. <clears throat> okay, that looks pretty good to me. Move on and work on the floor, since we're working on lightest to darkest. right on over now you really couldn't tell too much about the water getting activated with the skin tone but you certainly can tell it when you're looking at this floor as we're working this yellow ochre through here and then we're just going to do a little bit of the burnt right here just to shade it up a little bit There we go. Come over here and work on this side of it. And it doesn't have to be completely uniform. It's okay if it's got a little bit of streaky to it. It's not going to hurt anything. Work on this right here. And right in here. Rub just a little of it off onto my tissue as I'm going here so that it doesn't continue to darken this spot right here. I just want it to be a shading under his foot. And then this will darken it up right here. shows the shadow of his foot. We'll work on this. I'm going to add water to this. I'm probably going to add a little more dark to this if this doesn't show up very well. very very light or at least with all the lights on in here that color looks very very light to me but we'll see as we blend this wall right here how it plays out right here
So it might be all right. We're gonna work on this back here. Oop, got a little bit of red in there. Pull it up with my brush, tap it onto my napkin. I don't want the red to be there. Find my pewter. I'm gonna put some liquid right on the tip of the brush or tip of the pencil. Let it soften it a little bit. Add the gray. I don't want that to have a red tint. I want that to be that gray. And then this is going to be darker right along. Just get a shadow that goes along right through here that's going to be gray. Okay, now back to working on the wall over here. Still want it to be some darker back in here. I'm going to push this line right on down. To the edge of the floor. her calf. Let me work on that just a bit. There we go. That's better. Okay. Work on this lighter spot. Hey, Mary. Hi, Steve. I can't see what it says. I got to get closer. <laughs> From East Lynn, West Virginia. All right. That's wonderful. I love it. Yes, I hope you're having a blessed day, too. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you being here. And I know exactly where you're at in East Lynn. That's fantastic. We're hoping to get to come to West Virginia for Easter, hopefully. That's a hopey hopey. Okay, that seems to work pretty good right there. Now let's start working on his shoes a little bit. Oh, wait a minute, I'm going to do these socks first. That's a lighter There's his ankle. Want this to be darker right here. It's not too dark. Wipe a little of that off. 
It's a mighty dark line. Don't want it to look like a weird eyeball down there. And from my angle, that's about what that was looking like. Some kind of weirdo eyeball. Okay. Little drop more water here. Just working this in, trying to get it in the indigo area right here first before hitting into that Masoka brown or blue. Okay, let me bring that in. Just a little bit of that right there. Try to smooth that down on her shin bone. Just a little bit. Just a little bitty bit there. What kind of weather you guys having up there in East Lynn? We're having a rather kind of cool day. It's, you know, actually, I guess what's seasonal, what it's supposed to be like. In our 40s. We've been having them 70 degree days, and I'll tell you. So I said, I guess the groundhog was right this year. As odd as that is, I mean, the groundhog ain't never right. But I think the groundhog must have been right this year. It has been like an early spring, at least here it has. Let's get these daddy pants going here. Just to blend a little better right along her leg. Don't want to mess up her little calf muscle, though. Now she does need just a little bit of shading right along the back of her knee. Just a little bit. A little 
bit darker right there. Maybe I should do that with a gray instead of the blue, but I don't know. I think that looks all right. Oh, no, no. Don't use indigo. <laughs> That'd be crazy, Janet. Here. Come over here and get just a small drop of pewter. Get me a little bit of pewter and just rub that in there too. Just a little gray. darken it a bit. I'm getting just the littlest bit of gray on my brush and adding it to this area. And then I also need to add just a little bit. I don't want to get too much. Right in here. Right along the bottoms of her feet. part of her heel. Right there. I don't want to keep messing with that because that looks like it's just messing up her leg even more and more and more. So I'm going to stop messing with that. We're going to move on. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting carried away here worrying about that. Start working on this lighter red. To the edge here. Let's do this kind of quickly here. <clears throat> then we'll go into the dark red. <clears throat> Sort of bringing it up. Sorry, well, I'll have to call you back. <laughs> 
<clears throat> okay, that'll probably end up getting me muted too. You never know. Don't mess too much with that. I want that to stay pretty and light. Okay, that looks pretty. Much like it looks like it should. Like it looks like it should. Okay, we've got only thing left to do here is to work on his shoes. Right across the bottom. Do the other shoe. Do the lighter parts first, and then work in the darker brown. Sort of fill in that little area in since that didn't have any color and obviously it needs some kind of color. Okay, and then we're just going to work our way down working on the sole here. There we have it, guys. <clears throat> it's done. <clears throat> Sorry. Can't clear my throat. There we go. So let's pull off the tape. Well, I'm waiting for that to dry real quick. Put this up. Put in there just a little bit of this peach color here in this back of the knee that took off everything. That's apricot, actually. Bring that right down through there. I think that ought to work. Actually, that should be a little darker in the back of her leg. Maybe if I put a little bit of gray. Right down through there. You hear the fire truck going up the street. in this area on her leg. I don't know why it's not wanting to color. Because I'm mucking with it now and I shouldn't have. I should have just left it alone. But I can't do that for whatever reason.
No, I gotta leave it alone. Stop it. Take the tape off. Stop what I'm doing, huh? Oops, dropped that one. Looks like a little smear there, but I'm not going to worry about it. What is it? It's been raining. Nice through the week in the 70s? Yeah. That's how it is for us. It's been real nice during the week. And then comes the weekend and it's rainy and cooler. But that's okay. Spring is on the way. We know it'll be here before you know it. Anyway, here we go. And it's finished. I'm going to stop right there. Leave it like that. I think it turned out pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Dancing on Daddy's Shoes. I know I sure remember doing that when I was young. I don't know about you, but it was one of my good memories there. All right, guys. Love you. See you again. Jeez, Wednesday. Have a good one. Bye-bye.